Anderson, a prominent and well-respected pollster from Jamaica with more than 40 years experience in the market research industry, conducted a poll last month among 506 registered voters in all 11 of the constituencies in St. Kitts and Nevis. The findings give insight into the unstoppable popularity of Prime Minister Dr. the Honorable Timothy Harris and his Team Unity administration. From a constituency perspective, Team Unity is well positioned if an election should be called now to be re-elected, having improved their 2015 election constituency count based on the intention to vote measure. Let me break that down a little bit more. Every time one does a poll during the course of a five year span from one election to the next, we ask a question towards the end of every question. If an election were to be called now, because you never know, some people might want to call a snap election, some people have done so. So we say, if an election were to be called now, who are you likely to vote for? And generally you find that the further away you are from an election date or constitutionally due election date, the higher the number of people who say I'm not sure or don't know or none of them or whatever. In this particular situation, we found those numbers a bit lower than normal, which means that people are energized in the whole um, election process and political process. So based on that particular question, and the numbers which that particular question generated, it is clear that Team Unity is well positioned if an election should be called now to be re-elected because they have in fact improved upon their 2015 constituency count. In the context of Caribbean polls, this is good, if not an overly comfortable position because we're now almost at midterm, in another few months we'll be midterm, and to be in a position of comfort, relative comfort, midterm is a little bit different. It's not usual because in everywhere that we're working, we're talking about almost right through the cabin, midterm government is tend to be lagging behind. In this particular situation, we find team units actually um, done a good job in the eyes of the general public to be so positioned that people say they would vote them in for a second term. What's more, a majority of Ketitians and Nivisions surveyed in the Don Anderson poll last month expressed strong approval of Prime Minister Harris's job performance. We asked about the leadership of the Team Unity government and we asked specifically about how the Prime Minister was managing the whole affairs of the government and over 60% of the persons that we interviewed felt positive about the leadership or gave him a good passing grade. A significant number, at least a third of all persons interviewed, felt that he was in fact doing a very good job. Overall, therefore, there is some level of satisfaction with the way in which Dr. Timothy Harris is actively leading the government of people of St. Kitts and Nevis. What are some of the things that they referred to that factored into that very high favorability rating? Well, I'm not sure they were making a reference to the town hall meetings, but they spoke in terms of communication, which again, you know, any, any, any government, any party has to look at communication as a key issue. So they're talking about surely um, communication, they're talking about his commitment to the people, talking about clearly the fact that he is addressed as a part of the leader of a party, the whole question of the, um, the, the VAT issue, which is a people-oriented program. All right? it's, it's recognition that this is something that I have to do because people are, are, are basically in, in, in encountering difficulties. And therefore, this is a, a policy which is targeted towards those persons who are probably most vulnerable in the society. So this is one of the reasons why people talked about him communicating and doing things for the people. So a number of persons that responded to this saw him as a people person and therefore somebody who is concerned about the welfare of persons in St. Kitts and Nevis. The other thing too that one needs to mention is that 
what came up repeatedly in the survey was that people felt that he had done a fair amount to enhance the unity of St. Kitts and Nevis. So that's something that's very important to note. Between Dr. Harris and all the other members of the team unity, they total over 50%. More than 50% of the persons saw the team leadership as being the, the group to, to lead the country at this time, the federal government at this time. But they also believe that the team unity coalition is perceived to be best able at this time to make things better for the people. Working in the government as a leader has been challenging, yet at the same time rewarding. Rewarding knowing that we are working on behalf of the people and that we have been able to accomplish much in the short of two years in government. Our own accomplishments, in my view, compare most favorably with any in the region at a second year in the life of the new government. I was pleased that the people of St. Kitts and Nevis, by a significant majority, indicated to the pollster that they were satisfied with the performance of this government and they were prepared to give us a passing grade and better. Some of the successes which persons provided to the pollster included our tremendous record of relief to the people by the removal of fat from food, for medicine, from educational supplies, showing that this government is committed to do good for all the people of the country because everyone has benefited, but those who have benefited most would be the poor, the young, and the vulnerable. And so we are the government of compassion and caring, and we demonstrated that that way. Equally, I was impressed to note that our payment of the servants to the former sugar workers was one which many people remember and record the appreciation for. Perhaps I should not have been surprised because in this second round of paying of the severance, we paid over 2,003 former sugar workers and by extension their families. You contrast that with what happened in 2005-2006, a mere 968 beneficiaries. So we more than double up the families which would have benefited as a result of our efforts. For us who have worked so hard and dedicated so much time in the interest of the people, it is comforting to know that the people do appreciate. It is a signal that if we continue to focus on what we have been doing, delivering on our manifesto commitments, particularly those that redound to the benefit of the largest majority of people, that we will do well. Record high jobs data, as well as best ever annual profits and sales reported by many companies throughout St. Kitts and Nevis, indicate that the economy is performing exceptionally well under the Team Unity administration. Don Anderson asked the survey respondents for their view on the economy. We asked them specifically about the economy because obviously this is the hub of how people measure progress. So we asked people, tell us about the economy. Is the economy better now, last two years, or is it worse? And again, the majority felt the economy had either grown, was better, or was no bad, no worse than it was in 2015, before 2015. So again, the conclusion from that set of data is that people are generally of the view that the economy is headed in the right direction. Furthermore, a majority of petitions and divisions surveyed in the poll showed a high level of awareness of the Team Unity government's achievements so far, two years into its five-year mandate. The survey respondents also expressed an appreciation of the administration's robust communications efforts. The poll found that Prime Minister Harris's skill at communicating his ideas and getting messages across to the people contributes to his popularity, along with several other factors. When we ask them open-ended questions, well, 
in your view, what are some of the things that the team unit development has done well that you are satisfied with? And people talk about clearly the removal of that on things like food and medicines and funeral expenses. And people also talk about the repayment to the form of sugar workers. So these are two things that stand out amongst a list of about 10 items that people have identified. But these were two that occupied the minds of the majority of the persons that were interviewed. One of the things, of course, they talk about is communication with the people. And this is a cry from constituents all over the Caribbean. People are saying it's important to communicate with them. And that way they believe that they will better understand what um, the government is doing. And the data does suggest that people are aware that much work has been done. The whole question of communication is now very much on top of the minds of the people. Mm -hmm. And they see this as a good thing. And essentially what they're saying is don't stop it. Mm -hmm. Really need to be constantly <coughs> communicating because this is different. Mm -hmm. You know, again, in, in, in a number of other jurisdictions, you find that governments fail on the basis of their inability to communicate. Mm -hmm. And what they're saying is that this is a good thing. Therefore, keep it up. Okay. Keep it up. The principle of communication is really very much appreciated by the people. The concept of communication has really resonated very well with the people. So those town hall meetings are good. People are now seeing and hearing more about what is happening. We we'll love to see that enhanced. Another good news was that our message has been reaching the people. And the people of St. Kitts and Nevis, despite the noise in the political marketplace are seeing the government for what it is, a compassionate, caring government that inherited a difficult situation with the governance agenda, with ensuring that everyone was getting its fair share, and yet we have taken up this awesome and challenging responsibility, and we are producing to the satisfaction of all the people. And I want to thank the people for giving us as a team this opportunity to serve and for service and to thank them for their confidence and support and to ask them to continue their prayers. For all that we have accomplished, we say, to God give the glory. And there's a lot of more, a lot more work to be done. But I believe my team is up to the task. Team unity clearly is an idea that will never die. It is what the majority of persons before 2015 indicated in the same Anderson poll that they preferred. And two years after an election, I feel satisfied that the poll is showing that the majority of people in St. Kitts still have faith, are still positively impacted, are still satisfied with the performance of this government.